Hello, my name is Mrs. Dewardoth and I'm going to be taking your lesson today. Let's have a look at the practice activity that you were left at the end of last lesson. Did you use your number bond chant to help you solve it? We're going to use it together now. So, hmm. 10 is made of 1 and 9, 9 and 1 make 10. So 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. 10 is made of 2 and 8, 8 and 2 make 10. So 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. 10 is made of 3 and 7, 7 and 3 make 10. So 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. 10 is made of 0 and 10, 10 and 0 make 10. So 10 minus 0 is equal to 10. Did you notice something about the equations on the other side? I noticed that they use the same numbers, that some of the equations on the other side use the same numbers, like this one at the bottom. 10 minus m mm is equal to 9. 10 and 10 is made of 1 and 9, 9 and 1 make 10. And this one, 10 minus m mm is equal to 8. Yes, 10 is made of 2 and 8, 8 and 2 make 10. Hmm, 7. Oh, I've used that as well. 10 is made of 3 and 7, 7 and 3 make 10. This one, I haven't already used these facts, so 10 is made of 4 and 6, 6 and 4 make 10. So 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. Then you are asked to represent one of these equations using a bar model. I chose to represent this one. Can you guess the equation? Yeah, it's the one that is 10 minus 8 is equal to something. It's equal to 2 because 10 is made of 2 and 8, 8 and 2 make 10. In today's lesson, we're going to look at something slightly different. We're going to start by counting, but I've got a problem with my number line. Some of the numbers are missing, but I know you're really, really good at counting. Can you help me with the missing numbers? Oh, fantastic. So let's start at the beginning. I've got 0, 1, 2, hmm, what comes next? Did you say 3? That's right, because 3 is 1 more than 2, so I know that's the next number on my line. Should we start again? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, no, I've got another missing number. Did you say 5? That's right, because 5 is 1 more than 4. Let's start again. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Fantastic. We're going to be using our knowledge of this and one more to help us with our learning today. Can you help me to tell a story with the pictures? You might remember this from a previous lesson. Let's have a look at our story. Should we have a go at telling it together? First, I had three flowers in my vase. Then I added one more flower. Hmm, how many have I got now? What's the equation that goes with this? Did you say three plus one? Three, oh, three plus one. One more than three is four. So three plus one is equal to four. What about these pictures? How many have I got first of all? Six. Then I've got one more. How many have I got now? What's the equation that goes with this picture? Did you say six plus one? Six plus one. One more than six is seven. 
6 plus 1 is equal to 7. What about in this picture? What can we see? Yes, we've got one outside the tens frame and six in. So if I was to put them together, that would be one plus six is, oh, that's quite tricky. Counting six, but I remember. Can you remember our generalization from last week about the add ends? Can you remember that we can change the order of the add ends and the sum remains the same? So I'm going to switch them. I'm going to say 6 plus 1 because I know that 1 more than 6 is 7. So 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. Can you have a look at this picture? What can you see? Can you see three footballs and one basketball? How many balls have I got all together? What's the equation that goes with this picture? Have you said three plus one? Because I have three footballs and one basketball. 3 plus 1. I know what 1 more than 3 is. 1 more than 3 is 4. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. There are 4 balls all together. Let's have a look at this picture. You can pause the video and tell somebody what you can see. Can you see 1 adult cat and 7 kittens? What would the equation be if I wanted to know how many cats there were all together? Did you say it's one plus seven because I have one adult cat and seven kittens? Oh, that looks tricky. I don't want to count on seven. Hmm. <gasps> but I know that we can change the order of the add ends and the sum will remain the same. So instead of doing 1 plus 7, I'm going to do 7 plus 1 because I know that 1 more than 7 is 8. 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 and 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Let's have a look at these together. We're going to try and solve them really quickly because we know that adding one gives one more. Let's have a look at the first one. Oh, it's a number bond to 10 as well. 10 is made of one and nine, nine and one make 10. And I know one more than nine is 10. And the equation opposite it, we've changed the order of the add ends, but the sum remains the same. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. Have a go at the next two. Pause the video and try and do them really quickly. Did you have a go? Oh, did you say 8 plus 1, 1 more than 8 is 9? And the equation opposite, we've just changed the order of the add ends, so the sum remains the same. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. Let's have a look at the next one. Pause the video and have a go. Did you do it really quickly? Super. 7 plus 1. 1 more than 7 is 8. And the equation opposite, we've changed the order of the add ends, but the sum remains the same. So 1 plus 7 is also equal to 8. Well done, you've worked really hard on these. I'm going to leave you with this practice activity to have a go at. Remember, we can change the order of the add ends and the sum remains the same. And adding one gives one more. See if you can do them really quickly. Well done for all your hard work today, everyone. See you next time.